Uh, MMA gloves, gum shield, t-shirts off. And that's it, no shin pads, no, no nothing. I think this type of training right now that we're gonna do is something that we should do the most. It should be the most, cause it's, it's as, it's as, it's what you're gonna experience in there. The bare body, the gloves, no shin pads. It's, it's good for the mind, this one, because you can feel what it's gonna feel like in there without damaging the body. It's gonna be, my partner throws a shot. A combination, whatever, kicks him. Then I throw a shot. And try and find the targets. That's something as well, when you're hitting pads, you can't really find the, the body, or you know, you, if, a lot of people, you see them holding pads out here, and try and find that spot exactly where you want it. Shot selection is one thing, but you must be able to put the shot right. If you throw a shot with no pads and it's an elbow bone or something, you can mess yourself up. So I think this, this way of training, you can find the shot clean and it will make your shots a lot more accurate. I just love the way Connor trains, I just love the principles he's trying to, to give us. He's so athletic and he has so special movements and you can see this while he's teaching it to us. Now I start to understand why he's such a special fighter. Connor have a lot of good coaches. He have a good uh, jiu-jitsu ju coach, a good wrestling coach. Just look at his results. I'm looking forward to work with them. Dang! Time. That was a perfect pace. That's what my coach John would say about a session like that is that's upgrading your software without damaging your hardware. You know what I mean? So you're not getting injured, but you're getting, fl you're feeling the positions and also, that was a perfect session, great job.